Okay, well, hello. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, this talk is about FPAs also. Uh, graphic design tools for open source FPAs. Uh, the Apio and ICE Studio uh, projects. So I'm Jesus Arroyo. Uh, well, a little presentation. I'm a husband and father of two little boys. I'm an engineer, engineer in software and also uh, robotics and, and electronics. I'm the creator of Appio and ICE Studio projects. And now I'm working on Carto, that is an open source uh, company of location intelligence in, in Madrid, Spain. Well, let's start with, with some state of, of the art. Uh, open FPGA boards. Uh, what an FPGA is, it's a field programmable get array. You can, you can change uh, its own hardware in seconds. Uh, what is an, an, op an open FPGA? It's an FPGA chip that you can use with open source tools. And an FP open FPGA board, it's an open source electronic board that contains a, a chip. So there are uh, a lot of different boards uh, out there. For example, the iStick that you know from the previous talk. This is the, fir one, the first one. Uh, this is uh, another one from, from Lattice, from the company Lattice. That is the, this, this one. We have also uh, an Isom Alhambra board, this, this board. I, I don't know if you know all these boards, but this is the Black Eyes, for example, and the tiny FPGA that is very tiny also. <laughs> uh, do you know, who knows uh, at least three of these boards? Raise your hand. OK, one, two, well, one, everyone. <laughs> all, the, all the boards? Oh, great. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, open FPGA tools. We have we have some open source tools uh, like Icarus Verilog and, and GTK Wave. Uh, the first one are only for simulation, so nothing to do with, with FPGAs, but I I include in 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 this in this group. And then the Xterm tools. This is the, the golden tool. Uh, you have Josis for the logic synthesis, Arachne PNR for the placement route, and the Xterm tools for, for the package uh, and upload and things like that. So well Thank you very much uh, for Clifford to, for, for these amazing tools because I think this is, the, this is something incredible. You can use these tools uh, with, with typing, typing these commands. For example, in the simulation, you can uh, run uh, iBerilog, then uh, VVP to generate the, the simulation file, and then a GTK Wave to visualize all the, all the lines. And for synthesis, you can execute Josis, uh, then Arachne, Icepack and finally Iceproc to, to program. You, you need to type all that. So we found some issues with that. Because uh, first of all, you need to build all the tools uh, yourself. It requires time, it requires knowledge. And also you, you need to have uh, all the build environment in your, in your computer. Then uh, you need also to, to install the, the drivers. Uh, there are some boards with an FTDI uh, chip, some with directly a uh, USB connection. There are also a lot of parameters for simulations and synthesis uh, tools, like you saw before. For example, this uh, is for the, the FEA parameters and a lot of paths and things like that. And you can uh, upload the ground bit stream. That this is a little dangerous because the, the board is, is not verified. So possible solutions: uh, create a high-level multi-platform tool uh, to manage uh, every found every found issue. Instead of the red things, we can add a package manager and driver manager, simulation and synthesis manager, and, and then a blog manager. And this is what Appio is. This is my implementation of the, of the solution. Appio is a multi-platform uh, CLI toolbox for open FPGAs. Uh, it's written in Python, so you can install it with pip install Appio. And this is how it, how it, it looks like. Uh, this is the documentation, and, and this is the the GitHub repository. So the commands. For the package manager, you can uh, just uh, use app install and appio uninstall. So if you type app install iStorm, it downloads uh, all the tools for any architecture, where Linux, Mac, Windows, uh, ARM, and 32, 64, everything. Then you can uh, also uh, use appio drivers to enable FTDI or serial, serial drivers. 
and these simple commands to verify, simulate, build, time, clean, all the, all the things that you need to do with, with, a, with a project, with a hardware design. And then you have also an API upload that checks the platform, checks the USB uh, vendor and product IDs, checks the FTDI description, uh, and also search uh, the, the boards. And a lot of commands for examples and initialization, initialization, initialization sorry. And future work, I want to improve the examples manager. I want to add a project manager in order to have a multi-directory uh, project and also support uh, a lot of boards. All the boards I mentioned before are supported by, by this tool, all these ones. But if you don't like the terminal, you don't like typing, you can use also a graphic uh, user interface for that. That is uh, the Appio IDE. A very is an Atom plugin. It's a plugin for Atom. Uh, it contains also a very log linter and a very log and PCF uh, file syntax highlight. So you can write uh, your code, and then instead of typing the commands, you can press the buttons, and it's, it's easy. So let's do a quick uh, demo about that. OK. Well, I, now I'm, I'm going to use uh, this board. That is the Daisum Alhambra board. It's a board, uh, a board uh, made in, in Spain. Uh, it has the same chip that, than the ISTIC, but also a lot of new interesting stuff. So first of all, we need to initialize our project. It creates a simple file uh, with the board, that's it. And then you can, for example, up your uh, sim and runs the simulation and uh, runs a GTK wave. This is cool because you can use uh, the same commands for Windows, for Mac, and for every operating system that you want. <laughs> Let's do, for example, uh, build, executes uh, Josie, Saragna, and Icepack, and now up here, upload. It finds the board and and just in two seconds, you have the video stream here. Um, let's try another board, for example. I'm going to try the Black Eyes. That is a project from the United Kingdom. Well, you can see the board again. So I can execute. Also, if I do um, API upload, uh, it first uh, builds all the stuff and then uh, uploads to the to the board. And if I execute up your build again, it keeps uh, catching all the generated files, so it does nothing. In this case, we, we have uh, all the LEDs on. Well, I can show you the, the code. This is just the code to put four wires to one. Uh, well, and this is the PF, PCF file to specify the the number of, of the board, but you don't need to to know to know this. And finally, I'm going to switch to the Astum Alhambra again to show the, you uh, up your ID. I ID. Uh, you open the the break. I don't know if. OK, you have uh, here, for example, uh, a simple program uh, design. So instead of uh, typing uh, up your upload, you can press this button. And you can see, well, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a, a, a counter. So you can change. You can change, press upload, and now we have a uh, walking LED. So, for example, I'm going to change the speed. And this is quite easy because you can focus on your design instead of the all, all the tools. Also, you can run the simulation here. 
So you see, it's, it's quite easy to, to use this kind of complicated devices. But, nice, this is nice. But uh, I need to learn and write uh, HDL code. So I, maybe I don't want to. Uh, can I enjoy open FPGAs in an easy way? So I uh, also I, I have created some experimental tool called ICE Studio. Uh, it's a graphic editor for open FPGAs. It's written in JavaScript and, and HTML. Uh, you can find also the documentation and, and, the, and the repository. And this is how it, lo it looks like. Uh, this is some kind of like graphic Verilog. Uh, you have inputs, outputs, parameters, code, uh, and other blocks. So let's go deep inside. Uh, it has a very easy setup. You can download the app image, the Windows installer, the macOS DMG, and just install it. Uh, it contains Sapio and all the required tools uh, inside, you, so it's uh, quite fast to, to install all, all the things. Uh, it has also driver configuration, so you press drivers enable and, and uh, you have a step-by-step -step guide, and you can create your own designs and upload to, to the board. There are basic blocks, some basic blocks, uh, IO blocks for input uh, and output ports, like this one, this one is a uh, 8-bit uh, output block. You have also constant blocks, these orange uh, blocks from the top. Uh, you can type numbers or strings or whatever you want in order to add uh, parameters to, to your designs. Uh, there are uh, also code blocks, these, these ones. Uh, you can type a uh, very log inside these blocks. And well, this one is red because uh, it contains an error, so you can see also uh, you can do some kind of debugging with, with this tool. And information blocks, for example, the, this one. Uh, information blocks, you can write a uh, markdown or HTML in order to add documentation to your designs. But there are also custom blocks. Uh, it's a duality between project and block because uh, each project uh, can be a block. Uh, as studio uh, designs are plain JSON with dot ice uh, extension, so you can create a project, and you can use this project as a block for other projects. For example, you can create this, this project, you can add some kind of the name, the description, and the image, and you can use this project as this block in other, in other designs. Uh, we've, uh, we have also collections. Uh, collections are a group of blocks and examples with translations uh, that you can install uh, in, in a studio. So you can install a lot of collections in SC Studio, but you can only select one of them. Uh, because if you want to create a tutorial, for example, you need to have uh, only a specific blocks or, or examples. And these, these, uh, these blocks are, are, are in different collections. Well, and a lot of more, <laughs> more things. For example, multi-board support, multi-language, you can export a lot of uh, different uh, files, error detection, you can undo or redo uh, for all the components, so it's quite easy to go back and uh, and all, all the things. And also, I want to add a lot of things to, to this tool, like, for example, memory and label blocks, <coughs> uh, parametric blocks, um, integrate simulation, um, and, and all, all that kind of stuff. So let's go to do the second demo. Okay, let's connect the board. So let's create, for example, an input button. We can put Output for the LED, for example. Oh, I'm going to select the HTML Lambda board. Well, you can connect and just upload this design to the board. So 
I don't know if you can see it, but if I press the button, the, layers, the LED turns on. <coughs> so I can add more interesting things to, to this design. For example, upper scalar. This is a custom block. So I need a constant. For example, 23 bits. Uh, I'm going to add a logic gate. And that's it, for example. <coughs> so you can see when I press the button, the alert starts blinking. I can just change the, the bits for the divider. Upload again. One, two, three, go. And then I press the button and I see the line blinking faster. I'm going to add also an information block. This is code stuff. So I can put the, the block uh, in, in whatever position to add information. I can add also links and images to, to this block to, to add information. So with one, uh, in, in the same picture, you can get all the information without extra windows or things like that. And for example, uh, I can add, I can enter in the blocks to see what is inside of the block. For example, if I double click, I can see this is the, the inside of the AND block. It's just a uh, one-line uh, very log uh, design. And also, I can open well, I, I can open the blocks as projects in, uh, in order to change uh, some kind of things. For example, I can add more ports to to the code block. I'm adding a one wire uh, input and an eight uh, bus output. So I can create everything and then save. I can also update the, the project information in order to add an image or, or whatever I want. And then I can save and share with, with everybody. And well, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, here you can, you can have uh, different collections. So when you select uh, a collection, all the, all the SS Studio changes. So for example, if I select Another collection, all these blocks change to adapt to, to the new collection, and also the, the examples. And, and that's it. A uh, quick demo. Well, uh, we have created a little community uh, in Spain called FPGA Words uh, to share knowledge about open FPGAs. Uh, you can check the website, you can check the GitHub organization, and also the, the list. Uh, we have around 500 members, but uh, it's small in, in Spanish. Uh, so we want to create uh, here in the FOSDEM uh, a new list uh, uh, for English uh, people. To Well, we, we want to create something new. We don't know yet uh, uh, what, what kind of group, list, forum, or, or thing. But we want to share these projects with with every everyone, and also we want uh, your contributions and your ideas. And thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, if if you want to see more IC Studio examples and very interesting things. Uh, I recommend you to stay to the next talk, so to enter in more, de in more detail in, in, in the designs.
Yeah. Okay. Please try to stay silent, guys. Please try to talk outside. This is the question and answer session. And it's also being recorded. Is that just a strictly an HTML or just text file? Uh, the files, the, uh, oops. Okay. Ah, the questions, uh, what the files are, or the, the, the files are uh, plain JSON files with some kind of a structure to represent all the diagrams and the connections. Uh, and then uh, I have a compiler from this, this uh, JSON to Verilog uh, that is inside the ICE Studio. So now the format is, is JSON. So that, that would be uh, reasonable to use with uh, a GIT or other revision control to do like a GIF between the files? Yeah, yeah, uh, maybe. Can you please repeat the question for the recording? Ah, okay. Uh, if uh, can we use the files for uh, for other tools or things like that? Yeah, yeah. We can. This is open source, and this is just the beginning. So we can do whatever we want with with that, and we can create other formats or more standard uh, formats for the files and for the blocks. So yeah. Yep. Um, can you explain the, the motivation for doing it? I mean, this is very cool stuff, but I just want to try to understand here what makes what is going to make this sustainable. Yeah, I'm I'm doing this because uh, I want to. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's what what uh, I'm doing this. No, <laughs> I'm doing this because I want to bring this cool technology called FPGA technology to everyone, because it's quite di uh, difficult to for the for all the people or kids or what whatever student to enter in these tools. Uh, build all the systems, type all the commands, and then create something. With these kind of tools, you can create in one minute uh, the environment, and then this allows you to um, share hardware and also to teach uh, hardware designs to people that are not experts in the in these in these things. And also because I want to learn JavaScript, and this is a good moment to do it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for, for that project. And uh, it clearly shows that hardware development is catching up with software development and usual development of IDE that we use code but hardware. Maybe that's the question. What's the equivalent of you know other best practices like testing and, and other things and software for the hardware? Are there any? Mm, the question is about testing uh, testing hardware with software? Or, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a cool stuff also from Clifford Wolf, that is the, the one who created the, the project, uh, called formal verification. So you can add uh, some kind of test in the hardware, like assert uh, lines or things like that. I'm thinking, uh, how can we create some graphic tools to uh, describe all the tests and then uh, pass the test all for, for, for the designs. So we are thinking uh, about that, but it's, it's kind of difficult right now. We yeah. Many questions. Just so quickly, so okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Um, okay. So two questions? Yeah, so there are tools like Lava that can do te hardware testing on a CI. And there's some talks around here somewhere if you search on the page for Lava. Um, so I would recommend that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, if I remember correctly, the app is based on platform I/O. Yep. And did you have to make a lot of changes? Uh, well, I create uh, from scratch. Uh, I, platform I/O. It's the inspiration for for that kind of tool because in, uh, at the beginning we want to include uh, all the FPGA tools uh, with a uh, platform platform I/O. So we have also a platform IO package, but uh, I took some ideas and I rewrite the the whole thing uh, to to create that that tool that is only for open uh, FPGAs. Well, thank you very much, and that's all. <laughs>